But to win his way back to Washington, he'd have to defeat a challenge from a veteran state legislator. Born taking on State Senator Jim Wilson of Tahlequah, and he cruises to an easy victory tonight, picking up 76 percent of the vote to Wilson's 24 percent. In fact, you might say Boren smoked his competition, and that's appropriate because his watch party was held at one of Muskogee's favorite barbecue joints, which is where we find Dan Buley tonight. Dan? <laughs> That's right, Terry. Good evening to you. We're here outside of Malon's Barbecue in Muskogee, where Congressman Dan Boren's family, friends, and supporters spent the evening celebrating here tonight. Now, this race was called quickly about an hour after the polls closed. Congressman Dan Bourne was not able to join his supporters here because of that emergency vote in Washington. Now, Bourne is known as a fiscally conservative blue dog Democrat, and he prides himself on being a moderate, reaching out to both sides of the aisle. Now, Jim Wilson was his opponent. He entered the race late only six weeks ago. Wilson is a current state senator, says he wanted to wait until after the last legislative session before campaigning. And he says he accomplished his goal of showing how progressive ideas can help. Oklahomans. Meanwhile, Dan Boren's supporters say they respect Mr. Wilson, and despite Oklahoma's Republican stronghold, they do like their chances in the fall election. Well, Dan votes his, his uh, district and his constituents, so we're, we're confident that he um, represents his district well, so we hope that everyone will support us in November. I think that, that people uh, need another voice in Oklahoma. I think our voice is not I mean, it's pretty much uh, synonymous no matter which congressional delegates you look at. And again, the congressman is in Washington, D.C. this evening. His aides here in Muskogee tell me they expect him to come home on Thursday or on Friday. Reporting live in Muskogee, Dan Buley, The News on 6.